This is Justin Trevino from DragonLarga.com, and I'm here showing off the ID105 Fitband. Well, a Fitband is kind of like, it's not quite a smartwatch, but it's a fitness tracker you wear on your wrist, and it keeps track of your steps, and in this case, it keeps track of your heartbeat too. So the ID107 is kind of like the predecessor, but a little different than the ID105. The ID105, which is this one, has a little some features I like better and other features I don't like better. The first is to access the watch, instead of it having a touch screen like the ID107, it's got a little button on the side. Now that, that could be a little bit of an annoyance, um, and I actually like the touch a little better, but it compensates for this by showing you the, a larger screen. You have the full date at the top and the time, and it shows you the Bluetooth symbol and the battery life right on the screen on the home page. Um, that isn't the case with ID107, so I do like that, and that kind of makes up for the fact that the button's on the side instead of being touchscreen. You'll notice also, like the ID107, it has the exact same green light sensor to sense your heartbeat. When you wear it on your wrist, I like that the ID105 and ID107s, they do a constant polling when you're on the heart rate. It doesn't like require you to hold your wrist up like this and then wait and get one heartbeat reading. It actually will constantly read your heartbeat, so it records it to the VeriFit app over 24 hours, so you can actually see your spike and decrease in the heart rate throughout the day. So that's a good feature, and it works identical from my testing to the ID107. The other thing about the ID105 is when you flip through the screens, it pretty much is identical in every screen offering, you know, showing you your mileage, showing you your heart rate, showing you how many calories burned based on estimate. You kind of set the weight in the VeriFit 2 app and the height, and that kind of like uses an average measurement to calculate calories burned. I wouldn't say the calories burned is that accurate, but because this watch uses GPS, arm movements don't trigger your uh, steps to increase. So unlike other smart Fitbands where you could simply be driving your car and trigger steps in your Fitband without even actually doing movement, this one you actually have to take steps. And you can hold your arm flat like this and walk forward and backwards and you'll see the steps being incremented without having to swing your arm back and forth. So it does not just rely on arm swings like the cheaper ones, even though this is a really good price. Um, the other thing that's unique about this one is I actually damaged my ID 107 repeatedly, and my Xiaomi uh, 2 fitness watch, by taking it in and out of the band constantly, I damaged and eroded the plastic that's inside the band that holds your watch in place. So this smartwatch, you don't actually ever take it out of the band, it's embedded into the band. Instead, the charger is this little three-prong clamp, which is unique, I hadn't seen one like this before. So this three-prong clamp, you can see it fits behind here in the watch, and you see these three pins right here? You clamp it so that it lines up with these three pins, and then you just plug it into a USB to charge it that way. Now because it clamps and charges that way, you never have to worry about the erosion and the potential damage to the band because a lot of times you'll, you'll take it in and out of the band, in and out of the band, and the rubber wears down and it gets thin and then the, the actual fit tracker isn't held as tightly in place and can fall out or, or just become un dislodged. So that's actually a decent feature of this. So for that aspect, I like the ID105 better than ID107. I wore this all week long. And I will say the Xiaomi has about a nine day battery life, whereas this Fitband only had about a four to five day battery life. So uh, this one doesn't have the best battery life. It was comparable to the ID107. And that's partially because it takes a constant heartbeat read. So therefore it uses more battery life than one that only takes a, a one time heartbeat read when you request it. So other than that, I would say for the price, the ID105 Fitband is a really, really good deal. Um, you can get it for around $20, which makes it one of the lower end Fitbands. And honestly, I've had people complain about the Garmin Fitbands and even the major Fitbit Fitbands. And for this price, even if it wears out in six months, which I don't, haven't had it that long, it would still be a better deal than having to replace a much more expensive Fitband multiple times a year. Thank you for watching. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.